evaluate the double integral 0 to a 0 to 2 root a x x square dy dx by changing the order of integration. Let us take the limits which is given in the integral. So these are the limits of x and these are the limits of y. So as x varies from 0 to a varies from 0 to a x equal to 0 to x equal to a x equal to 0 to x equal to a y varies from y varies from y is equal to 0 lower limit to y is equal to 2 root a x if you square this if you square y on both sides y and 2 root a x you will get y square is equal to 2 square is 4 square and root get cancels 4 a x so this is the equation of a parabola so let us draw all this curve to identify the region if you identify the region then we can change the order of integration so draw x and y axis that means two mutually perpendicular lines then what about x equal to 0 x equal to 0 is the equation of y axis x equal to a is the ordinate parallel to y axis at a distance of uh, one unit from x axis uh, sorry a units x equal to a so these are the constant limits given in the integral x if you see from outside x varies from 0 to x equal to a as x varies from x equal to 0 to x equal to a y varies from y equal to 0 and y equal to 0 is the x axis equation of x axis so this point to the upper limit is it start from here y then y square equal to 4 a x so y square equal to 4 a x is a parabola symmetric about x axis passes through the origin passes through the origin so that means y varies from y equal to 0 means this curve to y is equal to 2 root x that is this curve y is equal to 2 root x so equation of this curve is y square equal to 4 a x or y is equal to 2 root a x so that means this is the region of integration this is the region of integration if you want to change the order of the uh, integration we must take first the limit of y from outside that means limit of y must be constant limit so if you see from outside y varies from this line that is y equal to 0 to changing the order now changing the order so how y varies as y varies from as y varies from y is equal to 0 here if you say, see from outside to cover this region the starting point or line is here it is that is y equal to 0 to upper limit upper limit is here y is equal to as yes, to identify the upper limit we must identify this point that is point of intersection of two curves one curve is x equal to a another curve is the parabola so put x equal to a here if you substitute x equal to a in place of x the value of uh, in place of x the value of x that is equal to a you will see that y square equal to 4 a into a that means 4 a square 4 a square therefore y is equal to plus or minus one point is here another point is in the other side because it is symmetric about x axis so i will take the positive one here so plus 2 a that means this coordinate of this point is x equal to a y is equal to 2 a so the it goes like this the curve actually so a to comma 2 a so therefore if you see from outside y equal to 0 here and y is 
टू ए हियर वाई इज इक्वल टू टू ए देर फॉर वाई इज इक्वल टू टू ए इफ यू सी फ्रॉम द आउटसाइड एज वाई वेरिस फ्रॉम वाई इक्वल टू जीरो टू वाई इक्वल टू टू ए एक्स वेरिस फ्रॉम एक्स वेरिस फ्रॉम from where to where along x axis right along x axis x varies so i have to draw a strip inside the region parallel to x axis so x varies from this point which lies on this curve so it, on this curve x is y square by 4a x is y square by 4a to this upper limit lies on this curve on this curve x equal to a x equal to a so therefore these are the limits of y and x therefore this integral can be written as i will take this integral as i i can be written as y equal to 0 to 2a y equal to 0 to 2a then x equal to y square by 4a to a then the function the function is x square x square so here the order is dy dx now the order cha order changed to dx dy so first we need to integrate with respect to x we need to integrate this integral with respect to x then with respect to y which is equal to 0 to 2a integration of x square is x cube by 3 between the limits x equal to y square by 4a To x equal to a. So if you substitute the upper limit in place of a, you will get a cube by three, or you can take one by three outside the integration zero to two a. So then we have only x cube here. So if you substitute in place of x a, you will find a cube minus in place of x. If you substitute y square by four a. Then y square whole cube, y square whole cube is y. This this dy should write here dy. So then if you substitute y square, y square whole cube is y power six. Three twos are six divided by four a whole cube. Four cube into a cube into dy. So this is equal to one by three zero to two a a cube dy minus one by three zero to two a one by three zero to two a y power six by four cube a cube into dy. So which is equal to if you integrate a cube with respect to y, a cube is a constant. Integration of dy is y. So therefore, one by three a cube y between the limits zero to two a minus one by three four cube a cube. We can take outside four cube a cube into integration of y power six is y power seven by seven. Between the limits zero to two a. So if you substitute the upper limit here two a, then you will get a cube into two a is two by three a power four. Two by three a power four minus if you substitute the lower limit in place of y zero, you will get zero. So then come to the next term minus one by three. Four cube, a cube. Then substitute two power seven here. Two power seven is two power seven. Two a whole power seven is two power seven. A power seven divided by seven, which is equal to two by three a power four. Two by three a power four minus. One divided by three, four can be written as two two 
टू स्क्वायर टू स्क्वायर होल क्यूब इज टू पावर सिक्स फोर कैन बी टू स्क्वायर टू स्क्वायर होल क्यूब इज टू पावर सिक्स इन टू ए क्यूब टू पावर सेवन ए पावर सेवन डिवाइडेड बाई सेवन विच इज इक्वल टू टू बाई थ्री ए पावर फोर टू बाई थ्री ए पावर फोर माइनस here 2 to 2 power 7 by 2 power 6 is 2 that means 7 minus 6 2 power 7 minus 6 is 2 therefore we have 2 in the numerator denominator we have 3 2 by 3 a power 7 by a cube is a power 7 minus 3 7 minus 3 is a power 4 into 1 by 7 so if you take 2 by 3 a power 4 common So you'll get inside one in place of this minus one by seven. One minus one by seven is seven ones are seven minus one six by seven. Therefore, this is two a power four by three into six by seven. So three ones are three twos are six. Therefore, this integral will be equal to two. Uh, Two into two, four. Four by seven, a power four. Four by seven, a power four.